in one word or phrase describe the upcoming season? Excitement. Competitive. Intense. Ready. I think love. The sky's the limit. Tough. High pace, high energy. They're gonna play hard every single night. This is my last year at college basketball, so I really have nothing to lose. I'm gonna have had a fan base excited, happy, and proud to be part. We have to earn this next step. Every year since I've been here, it's just the vision has been coming closer and closer and closer. The energy's definitely felt all across the country, yeah. especially around the city as well. All right, let's get the uh, Philadelphia run going here at A10 Media Day. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of positivity going yeah. into this year. Tell us about what you've been telling people about St. Joseph. Well, I mean, but we always want more. You know yeah. that that's um, so. I, I don't really look at where we land. I look at where we're going. After your assumption today, yeah. Who are you picking to win the last? I'm all in on on St. Joe's. Last year uh, at this time, I was saying that we were young and new. This year, we're still fairly young. I mean, we had half of our roster are freshmen and sophomores, but we're familiar because of the continuity of Cam and Charles Coleman and Chris Aris and Brian Geekins and Cooper Vogel and then Eric and Lynn and Casper and then you got Rashir and Christian who are kind of in between. We have freshmen that are going to have an impact on our season. Guys like Chris DeSendico, Sean Simmons, Anthony Finkley, Desir, Haskins, Xavier Brown, where you feel more solid maybe than at any point uh, since at least I've been the head coach is that you got guys like this. Eric Reynolds is Probably the best player that I've ever played against. He's trying to be the first in sprints. He's flying around on defense. He's moving with great pace on offense. He's unselfish. Um, he has so many great qualities that elevate our program on a day-to-day -day basis. I think he's a natural born leader. He elevated the whole team to another level. Like we see what he's on, so now we gotta have his back. Eric is uh, probably one of the best listeners that I've ever worked with. He's had to build on his strength and his muscle mass. If he wasn't as good of a listener as he is, I don't think he'd hit you know, all the marks that he's hit so far. He's the best listener I've ever coached at any level. We all know what he can do on the floor, but people don't really know him off the court. Like Eric is the most humble person that I've ever met. He's got a chance to be one of the best players in the league. <laughs> I mean, he's him, he's, re he's really good. I don't even, there's words can't describe how good Eric Reynolds is. Hawks come in, and at this point, what is nine days from what will be their season opener, Monday, November 6th, uh, against Lafayette. Picked in the preseason in the top five in the Atlantic 10, and very much warranted with, with the roster that Billy Lang has assembled this year. St. Joe's and Manhattan together to support autism awareness with 20% of today's ticket sales uh, benefiting the Kinney Center. One thing we're gonna say to you guys, we have to be united, okay? Now let me give you ways to do it. Eye contact, communication with each other. We can win these moments. So win those moments to be united. Take a rebound and go up for it. And there's Greer opening up the exhibition portion off the window. Rumble sent away, Essendoko. There's Essendoko not quitting and off the window. Welcome to Hawk Hill, young man. Nice drop off, Fleming with the punch down. First lead in a stretch. Simmons changes that quickly. You get a quick look for a cut. You might be open when he empties out there. Look right at him. He comes up and he's wide open. Around the horn, Brown open, and that was enough. Simmons, Finkley to beat the buzzer and does. Welcome to Hawk Hill, Anthony Finkley. Wingborn on the run out. Let's see if that charges the Hawks up here in the second half. Watching right to the hole. They got a few of four. Rumble and denied. Reynolds. Sedelko was looking for the high low. Instead, Reynolds slices and scores. First game in a three point play. Hawks able to get the push they need, and they win the opener before the opener. How excited are you for you know next Monday against Lafayette? Oh, I'm super not next Monday, but you know the Monday after that. I'm I'm super excited. I mean, I'm I'm excited for the whole season. Like overall, just like 
I'm excited for the very first game against Lafayette.